Hello again guys, just a couple of things to talk you through in this video. This is about uh, watching shots and watching recordings online. This is the home portal page. This is a VP4 lobby. So let's go back to the portal page on the website. And this is a home page. So the one that we're interested in is this uh, header in the nav bar here, watch shots. And when we go to watch shots, we've got two different tabs. We've got matches and we've got shots. Now the first thing to explain here is, is that these matches here, some of these are actually tournament finals. Um, the way the system is set up, if the tournament is a weekly tournament and above, the system will automatically record the final match and it will automatically post it and upload it to the matches section of the recordings. On this section here, we have shots and the function of this is to let you be able to not only save any great shots that you play but also post them to three different choices. You can post the recording of the shot here which is the VP4 online website. You can post it to the VP4 Facebook page and you can also post it to your own VP, uh, sorry, Facebook homepage. But first of all, let's look at a recording and how we play them back. So you're on a list of recordings, and it just so happens that I'm going to show you my great shot that I played today in one of the tournaments we were doing. Uh, I think it was 10 ball, as a matter of fact. And all you do is, is move your little cursor over each of the uh, little thumbnails and that allows you to click and start the playback. Well, it doesn't start the playback, we'll explain that in a minute. Now there is a bug in the system which is being looked at and being fixed as we speak. Uh, occasionally we're getting a load error um, but the way around it is, is to hit OK, you end up back in the lobby, you hit the portal uh, button again and you click the uh, thumbnail again and that will then take you to the table. And at the moment you've got no guide whatsoever to let you know how to play this shot. This is also something that is being worked on for new people that come online. It just so happens that the way to get the shot to play so that you can view it is to hit the replay button which is the default is the R button on your keyboard although I have mine remapped to the back button so it's well out of my uh, well out of the way of my left hand when I'm shooting so what I'll do is you're, you can go to any point on the table so you can get the best view of a shot and in fact I don't like that view there so we'll move here a little bit higher up and what you'll see is that this video shows the seven ball the next ball in line to be uh, shot is going to be the nine ball but the nine ball is tied up with the ten so let's just replay this shot and let you see how I managed to get the nine ball out A good shot. It was so good. We'll replay it again and we'll go to a different angle. We'll go down here and we'll hit replay. Good bit of spin in the cue ball just to fire it off the rail. Hits the 10 ball, leaves me sitting perfectly on the 9, which I then sank the 9 and sank the 10 to win the rack. And that's how you play back a shot. 
we'll quit out of that and we find ourselves uh, back in the lobby so let's show how you can save a shot and post a shot so we'll go into a room we'll create a room um, I'll just call it uh, testing and the other functionality of online is that you can have private rooms so I just want to test this on my own so I'll put in a password that one there will do and that means that nobody can enter my room so I can show you this So we're in the room set up. Uh, the game is nine ball. It's um, set to two games, and my name's on the left hand side. Now you can do two things to get the player over this side to to drop somebody into the game. You can highlight their name so it highlights in red and move them across, or you can just double click it and it'll move the player's name across to that side anyway. So we've got a two game nine ball match and let's just go to the table and see if we can play a few shots and see if we can manage to get a, a decent shot to uh, save and upload. So let's just break the balls. Not a bad break. So we've got the one ball down the rail. We need to go over to the two. Should be fairly straightforward. And we won't be bothering to save that one. That was garbage. We'll try something else. If we can get out of this snooker. That wasn't bad. And we've left the one ball there. In fact, what we'll do is is we'll save that last shot. That's as, that's probably going to be as good as anything to save. So we hit escape. When you're in the uh, in-game menu, you have all the various options on show there. The important one we're interested in is save last shot. And I've got a couple there I did earlier. So we'll name this shot. We'll call it Hooked Escape. In fact, we'll spell it better than that. Hang on. That's better. And now we have a choice to save and post. We'll hit that button and it tells you in the pop-up dialog you can share this post to your Facebook wall and or the Virtual Pool 4 Facebook fan page. So we'll title it again, we'll just call it the same thing. And you can write a comment. Right, um, so I've just put in a little comment and we now have three choices as to where we want to post this. When it says VP4 Online, that means the Virtual Pool 4 Online website or the portal as I call it. You can post it to your own wall on Facebook or you can post it to the VP4 fan page on Facebook. For the time being and for the purposes of this video, we will post it to the online site. So remember, the name of the shot is called Hook to Escape. So we'll hit post. Now, we are back at the table. 
I'll quit this match. That testing room will disappear, which is already done, and we're now back in the lobby. So I want to watch my recorded shot. So we'll hit the website button, and we will refresh the screen. Go into the shots tab, and there is a shot called Hooked Escape and I got lucky here, didn't I? In order to play back the video, you hit the thumbnail, you'll see a little cue stick changes to a hand, and you click the thumbnail in order to play back the video. You will see it comes up with an error. This is a bug that is uh, well known about and is currently being worked on for a fix. Uh, the fix for the time being is to come out of there, you'll end up back in the lobby and go back onto the same page on the website page and just hit the thumbnail again and it will take you into the room. Or at least it should do. Let me try for a third time. You'll see we're in position where we are snookered behind the six ball and the ball on is the one ball. In the room at the moment, there isn't any instruction here on how you play back that shot, or at least there isn't anything obvious. Um, for the time being, uh, with online testing, the way to play back any saved last shot when you're at the table in this position is to hit the replay button. Once the game goes online there should be an instruction on screen to let new players know that you have to hit the replay button because it's you know some people will end up going into the room like this and not sure of what to do and wondering why it's not playing the shot. So we'll hit replay and we'll watch the shot being played back. Updates. That is how you save and post a shot to the online portal. And we'll speak to you again soon.